All right, people, you probably heard at this point, but yes, OCG has yet another ban list. They have gotten three ban lists in the time that TCG has gotten, like, one. Like, holy crap. So, maybe we'll be getting our TCG list soon, hopefully. Like, holy crap, it's been, like, what, six? Going on seven months since TCG has gotten an update on their list. And I know the whole, like, okay, in that special dual pack, there's the reprint of Rescue Cat. So, obviously, we're getting that card. So, maybe they don't want to update the list until then. So, maybe April 1st as well. But this is the OCG list. So, OCG has an update on their ban list. This is the April 1st, 2017 OCG ban list. So, let's go ahead and look at it and uh, discuss it and give my little input. So, Forbidden. They have three cards Forbidden. The Tyrant, Neptune, Zodiac Giant, and Zodiac Barrage. Wow, they seriously killed Zodiac. Holy crap. So, uh, Tyrant Neptune's just another excuse to keep Instant Fusion legal while banning another card that's not relevant until it's relevant. So, of course, as we know, Tyrant Neptune plus that Lyrical Lucenia equals a 6,000 plus attack monster that burns you for 5,000 damage every turn is unaffected by card effects. You can't even get around it with Utopia Lightning. You can only really kaiju it. And if you don't have that to kaiju, then you lose. So... Yeah, you know, like I said, just similar to, uh, they banned Norden, it's just another reason to just not ban, um, Instant Fusion. Thousand Eye Restrict, Norden, Lyrical Lucinia with the Tower of Neptune, it's just like, how many cards? And the thing is, they don't even have Theseus, so it's like, you could just ban Instant Fusion OCG, but they're like, no, 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 Instant Fusion, we're okay with that. But every single little sacky piece of shit thing that you do involving that card, we're just gonna ban, so... Tarot Neptune is banned. You can't do that combo anymore. So, that's fine. Because I was, I was getting tired of getting sacked by that combo anyway. So, hopefully we do something similar. Or we can just ban Instant Fusion here in the TCG. But I seriously doubt that. Because we, we actually have Theseus. And we're trying to promote Theseus. Well, they're on the other hand. I don't know. So, they have Norton banned. They have Neptune banned. They're just like, nah. Alright? None of that sacky shit. Alright. Dryden and Barrage banned. Like, wow. Uh, Dryden... Dryden's a powerful card, you know, it's that it's that one for that one. Like if if all I did was semi limit rap here and they still kept barrage at three, I'd still be like, wow, Zodiacs are just but to have Dryden banned, barrage banned, and rap here at one, like the only thing I could possibly see you doing is maybe just toss it in not rap here, maybe like whip tail just to go into Bullhorn, because Bullhorn is still just a search for any Beast Warrior, so you can still do that. And you still have one Dryden, so you can still get that one pop. Uh, pop. But it's just, like, wow. Like, that that seriously hurts their consistency, their anything. Like, I, I just, right now, I cannot see Zodiac living as a deck here uh, in the OCG land. I just don't see it. Like, no Dryden, no Barrage, and only one rap here. What are you doing with that? The deck was already had holes in it to the point where you were playing other engines in it. But this, this is just, alright. So, Zodiacs are, yeah, they're, they're pretty much done the OCG line. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, limited which of the Black Forest, which of the Black Forest got an errata just like Sangan. So, I believe you can only use the effect of which of the Black Forest once per turn. And, uh, you can't use the card the same turn that you search it, but the thing with the difference between Sangan and Witch of the Black Forest is that Witch of the Black Forest, like, there's a lot of stronger cards that have 1500 or less defense instead of attack, but you know how level they are, so that, that's, that's interesting, that's interesting. How here in the TCG land, we're like, alright, Witch of the Black Forest ban and Sangan ban, and they're over there, we're like, well, we don't have Sangan ban, but we're gonna rot it, and we're gonna bring back Witch of the Black Forest. I mean, Witch of the Black Forest can switch Dark Arm Dragon, like, that in itself is kind of like, wow, alright. All right, next, uh, Blackwing Gofu of the Vague Shadow. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that's literally a... I mean, we already know what Gofu does. It's been doing a handful of things over here. Uh, and Metal Foes, Pop It, get the... Uh, uh, will summon the tokens, get Surge, Ultimate is so broken. But as well as the fact that since you can use the tokens for your Link Summons, Gofu in itself is a one-card Link 3 slash one-card Deco Talker. Because... You special summon the Gofu, the Gofu was special summon the tokens, and you're like, oh, you know, Deco Talker, you need, it has to be effect monster, you can't use the tokens, okay, just turn the tokens into Link Spiders. Link Spider is an effect monster. Two Link Spiders plus the Gofu, there you go, bam, there's, there's Deco Talker right there, one card, so, very, very powerful play, I must say, so, uh, yeah, yeah, Gofu, I, I, I actually predicted that, I actually predicted that on my previous banlist prediction for 
2017 or whatever, I predicted that Gofu was going to get li- limited down to one. And now, was I right about the TCG limited or the right list? No, but I, I called that. I called that. And and interrupted Kaiju Slumber? Yes. Like, if there's any card that you should hit for Kaijus, it's that card. The card is way too good. You know, in TCG land, we have Regeki and two Dark Hole. In OCG land, they have only one Dark Hole, no Regeki. The fact that Kaiju Slumber is not only a Dark Hole, but it summons you a 3,000 plus monster because, of course, you're going to give yourself the strong Kaiju monster, give your opponent the weaker one, and then attack with that one, so then you give yourself a very strong monster. But then you can banish that card to search for a Kaiju as well? Like, no, no, no. Just Kaiju Slumber has way too many good things about it, so definitely uh, we do set precedent and copy that and take that over here to TCG Land and also limit Slumber as well, because that card definitely deserves to be limited. You know, if Dark Hole, if we're saying, you know, in TCG, we're saying Dark Hole at 2. And they're saying Dark Hole at 1, then there's no reason why Slumber should be at 3. There's no reason. Alright, moving on to our semi limits. Are, are, are you rubbing your eyeballs right now? Yes, semi limited. Elemental Hero Stratos. Like, okay. So, in TCG land, we're like, nah, nah, Stratos, Stratos is too broken. He's banned. But OCG is like, you could add two Stratos. But they also gotta keep in mind, they also have Shadow Mist limited. So, that's another thing, you know. So, we got three Shadow Mist, no Stratos. They have. One shadow miss, two shadow. So it's still about even, you know. I think I, I think hero players right now. I think they would much rather have uh, three shadow miss because they want to go into that dark hole over the shadows. Because I mean, there's not too much mass changing going on with shadows. You know, most people when they say free nigga shadows, they they're not green. Like, hey, we'll give you shadows if you want to give up your shadow miss. They just want shadows with the three shadow miss. So there's a little bit of give and take on both sides. It was GM TCG. Uh, Summer Limit, Armageddon Knight, yes, you finally brought him back up to two. All right, uh, Armageddon Knight was hit when they were hitting Shadals, because, of course, Armageddon Knight's had to Shadal monster, get that effect, you already know. They hit Armageddon Knight down to one before they put Mathematician. Then they moved up Mathematician, and then still kept Armageddon Knight, and they were moving on this other Sh- uh, Shadal crap, of course, still Construct is still banned. Uh, but Armageddon Knight kind of just sat there at one, so now he's moving up to two and possibly up to three for the next list because I don't see Armageddon Knight getting too much use in the upcoming future. So, yeah. Uh, Summer Limited, Fairy Tail Snow. So, we already know how powerful Snow is. Uh, Summer Limited really doesn't do too much. I, I see some decks running three, I see some decks running two, but, you know, if you're going to put any snow to anywhere, it's probably limited just to lower the consistency of even seeing it. And, you know, you, I don't see any, like, hits to. Uh, the grass is greener, you know, so to hit snow down to two doesn't do anything and you didn't hit grass is greener, so, you know, decks like that, Infernoids with their grass is greener 60 card deck, that's still going to be a thing, so you didn't really do so much there. Uh, they semi-limited Goyo Guardian, which was limited down to one after it's errata to add it to make it an Earth Tuner, so that card's not even going to get played, like, it doesn't even get played in TC3. TCG when it's generic, then they're going to change it to not generic. Yeah, that card's going to go up to three. All right, and you see Ignis the Prominence, the Blasting Draco Slayer. So, I don't know. I don't know. Just the fact that you just throw in, um, you know, Luster, and then you get keep on having access to Ignis the Prominence over and over and over again. Like, uh, you know, he's probably, a Synchro Monster I should probably stay at one for how strong he is as a Synchro Monster. Uh, we have Brio. So, Brio got his Arata, and he went up to... Uh, came off on band with his rider, which uh, well, you can only use the effect of Brio once per turn, and you have to do all of the pitching and bouncing during that one play. So, uh, I still think that Brio is still a little bit too powerful to be at multiples because the whole point is that you know you do that one big old bounce, but now since Brio is at semi limited, you can have multiple Brios in your extra deck. I, gotta, I don't know, I don't know about that. I think if if Brio ever got came back to in TCG land, Brio should probably stay at one. He's still just too powerful to be at multiples, in my opinion, but I'm very conservative, so. Uh, Tanky, so, uh, yeah, Tanky, since you pretty much killed off Zodiac, hitting Dryden, hitting Barrage, hitting uh, Rapier, it's pretty much just, all right, well, if we're going to hit the deck that involves the Beast Warriors, I guess we could just bring back Tanky. It's just interesting that it's just like, yeah, we hit the Beast Warrior deck so you can have multiple Tankies, but you didn't really hit the Warrior deck so you can have multiple Rotas. Like, I get that Rotas not once per turn, and Tanky is, and Tanky, you know, it's a continuous spell so you can have response to it, but I mean, they're pretty much in the same boat. Like, are we just going to keep on doing this thing where we just keep on moving Tanky and Rotas? up and down and up and down like you're gonna keep them there keep them there because all you need to do is just create another beast for your deck and here we go tanky's gonna hit him again so i don't know uh brain control brain control they are rather brain control so you can only take monsters that have been normal summoned or set uh 
but you can attack with them. I'd say brain control is weaker than mind control, but they also have three mind control over there. So that's another liberal versus conservative thing. So uh, we know that we're at least getting rescue cat, the right rescue cat, but are we getting, you know, brain control and future fusion and, and cards like that? So I definitely say that um, I, I don't mind burn control getting up, coming over to the TCG land, and I'd say burn control right now is weaker with this Uriah is weaker than mind control because you know at least I could take your extra deck plays, but I can only take things that can be normal summoners. I can't even take your link monster with burn control. So, all right, and uh, so those are the semi limited. So moving on to unlimited, they have artifact morale attack unlimited. So there you go, you have your full artifact engine over there in the OCG land. Uh, over in the TCG land, we still only have one morale attack. But Moral Attack's not as strong as Scythe right now because locking you out of your extra deck is just wow, you know. But that spot popping that can get very, very powerful, especially in the upcoming future with uh, Link Summoning, where it's just like, okay, well, you use the resources to, you know, go into your Link Summon and I just go flip up Sanctum selling Moral Attack pop, you know. So, mm. uh, they put Magician of Faith up three. We have three Magician of Faith, so that's fine. And then they put Lamia back up to three for DDs, or uh, DDD. Because they believe they semi-limited Lamia and they semi-limited uh, Slurl Slime, I think the green one. So uh, Lamia is back up to three, but Slime is still at two. So, um, I mean, with Zodiacs being out of the picture, what it seems like in the OCG, there's a possibility that DDs might step it up again, you know, until the time that uh, it's time for Link Summoning to happen. Then DDs just go away. So, yeah. Overall, the list isn't terrible. It's very very uh uh liberal in some cases and then you know hurting hard when it counts so i mean that's really what you expect out of the ban list right so what seems like zodiac set a picture it's really interesting to see what steps up in ocg land until it's time for the link mechanic and what will be there i mean definitely when the link mechanics it's time for that you can definitely see uh the resurgence of infernoids that 60 card inferno because like i said you didn't hit grass is green or all you did was several of snow but i've seen decks that only play two snow anyway so you really didn't do too much there and with uh, an uninterrupted slumber is semi-limited. I mean, well, limited down to one. That's definitely a change there for uh, the Kaiju engine, so. Mm. Anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and get my two cents out of here. Uh, the opinion of a very conservative duelist, so. You know, there's some liberal plays here, but hopefully there's some there's some good stuff here, too, so we can hopefully see some precedents and hopefully get our TCG list soon, because six going on seven months of nothing hearing nothing because of course they get their stuff in the v jump you know uh while we don't get much of anything here it's just kind of so. so anyway tell me what you guys think about ocg's uh april 1st 2017 ban list and hopefully she gets their list soon thanks for watching thanks for support and i will see you guys next time there is another list